All right, I just want to show you how to start a Roven Baja. A lot of people have a hard time starting it and they, they end up flooding it out. So first thing you want to do is obviously charge the onboard battery and then put your batteries in your, in your transmitter. So there's an on switch here, there's a one hidden under here. A lot of people can't find this on off switch. It's way in here, you just put your finger, turn it on like that and just make sure you got your steering. Make sure your throttle's going. You want to make sure the throttle goes all the way to where it bottoms out. And then also your brakes. When you squeeze your brakes, you want to make sure it's squeezing this. Try to push it. And then another thing to really, it's good to test while you're doing this is just shut off the transmitter. Leave everything on, push it off, and then you'll watch. If your servo goes to full brake like that, that means your fail safe's working. So you have a runaway, it should put the brakes on at least so the truck so the car can't keep going then turn it back on it'll go back to normal everything is good so now you're ready to start it pretty much so the first thing you want to do if it's a cold and you have never started it you want to use the primer bulb which is on top of the carburetor just give that a few pumps until you see the fuel start going back in when most of the bubbles are gone that's good enough and then the choke is on the other side so this choke when it's in the down position like this, that means it's fully choked. What you're gonna do is you wanna start it like that until you hear the first little pop of it trying to run. And then the most important thing is don't keep pulling it with the choke down like that. It's not gonna start and run like that. Right after you hear that pop, we're gonna pull that all the way back up to wide open position. So I'm gonna show you how that goes. This is a 36cc Roven engine. These come with an easy pull pull start, not like the conventional ones that you have to pull real hard. So you're just gonna pull slow and steady and it's gonna, you're gonna hear it go poop, poop, and it, and it should start just like that. So I'm gonna try that and see what happens. See a nice steady pull? That's it. That little pop right there means it's ready to go. So now you're gonna reach back, shut the choke completely off, and give it a couple more pulls. It should start right up. doesn't start, uh, you might want to check your carb settings. This is the most important thing. Sometimes they're just a little off from the factory. You'll go to start it and it's just flooding it with too much gas and all of a sudden it's really hard to pull. Don't keep pulling it when that's happening. That means something's going on. It's, it's flooding. So what you want to do is check your carb settings. There's two. This is the idle screw. This is not that as important. This you'll do at the end to get the idle nice and low but not stalling. But before you do that, you got to mess with these two. The low is on the right and the high is on the left. There's a little L and H written on the card there upside down. You can see it. So each engine has different settings, like a 30.5 cc, which is the most popular engine for these. The settings are one and a quarter turns out for the low and one and a half turns out for the high. On this engine, it's one and a quarter out for the low and two and a quarter out for the high. So let's see where this one is tuned from the factory at. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to see how far in it went. I'm going to go clockwise. Well, that's half a turn. One. That was one and a quarter. So that was pretty much spot on. So I'm going to go back out to one and a quarter, which is half, one, and a quarter. Now we're going to check this one. It should have been at two and a quarter. Let's see if it is. Half, one, one and a half, two. Yeah, that was pretty pretty close, too. So two and, a, and don't go too tight. Just go to it stops. Don't force it. Right when it stops, that means you're all the way in. So then you're going to go half, one, one and a half, two, and a quarter. And that's it. That's how you adjust the car. All right, I just also want to show you how to take the body off. A lot of people don't realize how this lower plate comes off to access uh, the pull start and stuff. So if you do ever have a pull start problem, it just gets jammed and it's string is out and you want to access this it's actually very easy first you're going to just take four uh, five pins off if you want to take the body completely off two on the side one in the front and then another two on the side that's it and it just kind of pops off that's it and then this plate is kind of in the way, like, ah, oh, now i got to deal with this. No, you don't really have to. There's a, a little pin right back here. Just slide that pin out. 
and push down on here and you lift the buggy up a little forward and that's it, it comes out. These are what's actually holding the whole thing in into the frame and then the pin just holds it in. So now, very easy. Now it's just four screws. You could take that right out and I'll do that. You could obviously just use a hand tool red. If you have one of these, it makes it a lot easier. You could take this wheel off to access this one a little better if you want. But it does get in there. And that's it. So this is an easy pull star. So this has a whole different system than your conventional engines from like 30.5 cc and under. This has like a a system that's on a recoil. It's like, and it actually goes and hits these little cogs. And so these will get stuck over time. Like dirt gets in here because air flows through here. So if you're running through dirt and leaves, it gets these clogged up. And then all of a sudden they just stick into like a position or one sticks like this. And then when you go to start it, you got nothing. So just, you could either just spray some air in here and blow it out and even get a WD-40 with a little red straw on there and just blow it in. You don't even, almost don't even have to take this off. But if you take it off, obviously, you could do it a lot better. And that's it. That'll get your pull start going again. And if you do break this part, you know, you could either buy a new one or try to rewind the coil and stuff. But Okay, another thing is, like, let's say you're driving the buggy and it keeps pulling to the right or pulling to the left. That's a real simple adjustment you could do right from here, the ST trim, steering trim. So if it's pulling to the right, you're going to hit this button a couple times. The more you hold it down, you can see the servo move. And just, you want to find a nice straight spot. So if it's a real fine adjustment you could do right on the fly. As you're driving it, say, okay, wait, let me hit the button a little bit. And you just keep doing that till, you, till it's going straight. I want to show you how to adjust your endpoints on your transmitter because sometimes you'll get this car ready to run and you'll go to give it full throttle and maybe maybe this isn't going all the way to here maybe it's stopping right here so that means either you could take this servo horn off and move it a whole nother tooth to get more but then that's going to take away from your braking power so you don't want to do that you want to have a nice big brake action so it's squeezing this brake back here nice and tight and you want full throttle to go all the way to here but you don't need any more than that so like right now if you watch this right now it's at full throttle but look if I give it more gas see I'm going extra you don't need that extra that extra is now bending this a little bit and doing nothing for you so if you want you can go into the menu here hit the button it lights up you could oops you hit it again and you could scroll to where it says endpoint and channel one is your steering and channel two is your throttle so Right now it's on channel 1, so we don't want to mess with that yet, so we hit the button, go to 2, then hit this button, and then it lights up the, the rate that you're going at, how, long, how far it's going to make the servo move. So if you want it to go less, so now I'm going to give it full throttle, and I'm going to lower that down. See it moving right here? As I do that, it adjusts that. So you could look there and look here at the same time and say, okay, when's it going to... Okay, see, now it just lifted that up. So I'm going to move it till it just gives it full throttle. And that's it. So now every time I go to full throttle, it's not going any extra. So that's a perfect adjustment right now for full throttle without anything being wasted. And reverse is the same. So you could do the same thing with reverse. If you want more in reverse, you could give it 120 on reverse. It's not moving anymore now because it just can't pull it anymore. It's bottomed out over here. So that's full reverse. That's full brake, I should say, not reverse. It's re and that's it. That's how you adjust that. And the same thing with the steering. If you didn't have full steering throttle, this one seems to be adjusted good. You could go back to the same menu endpoint, go to channel one, hit this, and now you're here. So if I want more steering, I can turn it all the way one way, keep going. But see, it's not moving at all. It's completely full that way. So that's it. That's it. So right there, where you want to adjust that right till it stops. If you're going more and it's not moving, that's not doing anything except burning out your servo. So you don't want the servo trying to push something that it can't. So right now that's about it. See, if I go more, it's not moving. So right around 100% seems to be good on that side. And then the same thing for the other side. So now I'm turning to the left. I'm going to give it more. Look, it gave it a tiny bit more. Okay, it's still going. So now that's my full steering at 119. Wow, that's, that's good. 
And for some reason, yeah, right doesn't want anymore. So we're not going to make it go. That's it. So right there, the full. Left and right. So that's how you adjust your steering to get the full amount of steering.